Hi, this is Dylan Salmon at Dylan's Oyster Cellar, and we were happy to team up with the Baltimore Museum of Industry on this project. I know that the BMI is housed in an old oyster shucking factory, um, an oyster cannery, and I know that those used to uh, dot the Baltimore shoreline, the Inner Harbor area, um, and at one point was one of the main professions for Baltimoreans was shucking oysters for canning. They would get canned and shipped out west, uh, up and down the eastern seaboard. Um, it was a healthy, easy alternative or easy protein. Um, and here at Dillon's Oyster Cellar, we shuck a lot of Chesapeake oysters still to this day. Um, I'd say about 50% of all the oysters we shuck are from the Chesapeake region, Maryland, Virginia. Um, and Today we featured an oyster pan roast, which is a very traditional, historic dish. Um, I think in a couple of times I had mentioned its uh, popularity up in New York, but it was also a popular dish up and down the eastern seaboard, you know, primarily New York, Boston, um, and Baltimore, and, uh, you know, other urban areas on the east coast. Um, I know that at one point there were uh, oyster pan roast stalls out on the streets. I've seen some drawings, some uh, illustrations of, you know, people huddled around as guys roasted up oysters to order. Um, I would imagine kind of something like uh, what you see today with lobster roll carts and stuff like that. Uh, but this is a really traditional dish that I thought kind of a lot of people don't know about and would be fun to highlight. It's super easy to prepare at home and delicious. So I hope you all enjoy. And uh, again, it's our pleasure to partner up and help the BMI um, from Dylan's Oyster Cellar. Keep up your good work, guys. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's cook an oyster pan roast. What do you guys say? Ooh. All right, so the oyster pan roast is a uh, dish that was popular back in the 1800s, but they still cook it today. Um, this is a dish that is pretty much just oysters roasted in butter in a pan. Um, and it can be just that simple, but it's usually elaborated on. Uh, the oysters are poured over toast when they're finished and usually fortified with chili, uh, chili sauce, some celery salt, paprika, a little bit of half and half, Worcestershire. Um, all of that is kind of cooked into a thick stew and then that's poured over the toast. That's kind of the classic version that people know of. Um, and today I shucked some Blue Points fresh for the dish. I think they are the perfect oyster for it because they're not too big, not too small, and they have a good amount of brine. Um, they cook up very nicely for it. So without further ado, let's cook the dish. So we're gonna start with a pan, kind of medium high heat. And start with a good, maybe tablespoon of butter. Let that start melting in the pan. Okay, once your butter is melted, we add a little bit of clam juice. Clam juice will add some salinity, also some flavor, some brothiness. We'll let that reduce a little bit. And I like to add a little bit of the oyster liquor as well. Okay, so as that's reducing, I'm going to make sure I'm ready to prepare the dish. Once the oysters hit the pan, they cook pretty fast. So this dish should take maybe three minutes tops to cook. It's a quick dish. Okay, so we're looking good and hot here. I've turned up the heat, kind of medium high, I would say. And I'm gonna begin to cook the oysters. I will take them out of their liquor. You can reserve that for later use or just pitch it. So the oysters hit the pan, put them in there as quick as possible. And once they're in the pan, you start adding your seasonings. So we're gonna add a pinch of paprika. We're gonna add a pinch of celery salt. We're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Kind of rounds out some of the brine and a little bit of chili sauce. I'm using sriracha to Finally, fresh cracked pepper. Okay, the oysters are now seasoned up. I'm gonna flip them. You can see the edges starting to curl up. That's a sign that they're cooking through. I'm gonna flip these guys over. 
Get that seasoning all worked out. <laughs> all right, oysters look like they're pretty ready at this point. I can add the cream. In this case, half and half. Add a little half and half. All right, and turn the heat down a little bit. You can bring the half and half up to temp. You don't want to break it though. If you cook it too hard, you can break the cream. Okay, as this comes up, the dish is pretty much done. We will go over plating. So for plating, I take a bowl, put a piece of toast in the middle, and begin by spooning a few oysters over the toast. And then pouring the juice on top. this with a pinch of paprika and cracked pepper. And that is the dish, the oyster pan roast. Hooray!